Managing a retail avocado display requires some special attention. There are several factors that affect fruit quality that every fresh produce manager should know, as well as some handy tips for managing your display. The main factors affecting avocado quality are defects, ripeness, and maturity. Rots and bruising are the main internal defects. While the risk of rot start in the orchard, the length of time and temperature that the fruit is stored in the supply chain will affect whether those rots develop. Bruising, on the other hand, occurs once avocados start to ripen. Almost all bruising occurs on the retail shelf due to poor handling and consumer squeezing. Other internal defects that may affect the eating quality of the fruit include cuts and punctures, stones in the flesh, and chilling injury. It is important to separate or discard these fruit to avoid consumer dissatisfaction. There are also a number of defects that only affect the visual appeal of avocados rather than the internal flesh. These include light sunburn or bleaching, thrips damage, branch rub, and light skin spotting. To determine ripeness, apply gentle pressure to the stem end of the fruit. Avoid applying too much pressure, especially to ripe fruit, as this will bruise the internal flesh. Ripeness can be determined by the softness of fruit, using an industry developed scale which ranges from hard through to soft ripe. The popular avocado variety, Hass, also changes colour as it ripens, from green to purplish black and finally black. Most other varieties, including Shepherd, remain green even when they are ripe. The ripeness of avocados as they arrive at your store will influence whether you can store them or whether you need to sell them straight away. Hard fruit can be ripened by holding them at air temperature or ideally at 18 degrees Celsius for up to four days. Once fruit reach the firm ripe stage, they should be stored at six to seven degrees Celsius for no more than three days. Store soft ripe fruit for quick sale in a refrigerated display to slow the ripening process. Maintain good airflow between packages in storage to encourage even ripening and ensure packages are stacked to avoid fruit damage. Fruit that won't readily ripen or remain white in the flesh may have been picked too early. These fruit may be immature. You should contact your supplier if this is the case. Managing your avocado display requires ongoing close attention. Avocados ripen quickly, so if possible, it is better to order smaller volumes of fruit more often and at the different ripeness stages you require. Place fruit gently into displays. Never tumble fill displays as this can cause bruising. Where possible, fruit should be handled in the tray or box in which they were purchased to reduce handling of individual fruit and to limit the chance of bruising. Fruit should not be stacked more than two layers deep on a display. Many consumers are not confident selecting ripe avocados and can easily bruise fruit when testing for ripeness. This is one of the main causes of fruit damage, so separating ripe from ripening fruit can help consumers with their selection and minimise handling. There are two approaches for this. The first is to display the ripest fruit on top and towards the front of the display, and less ripe fruit at the bottom and back. The second approach is to separate ripe fruit from fruit that is still ripening. A ripe and ready section of the display using stickers or signage can help consumers identify fruit that is suitable for immediate or next day consumption. You can also discount the price of fruit that has reached a soft ripe stage so that it is sold quickly and produces some return, rather than ending up as waste. Consumer research has confirmed that most shoppers will purchase more avocados if they are supported by effective education materials, such as the signage and recipe books available from Avocados Australia. Merchandising activities can also generate additional sales. Examples include displaying avocados with complementary lines such as tomatoes and lemons, cross merchandising with products like corn chips, and displaying a range of avocado products such as Hass, green skins and bag product. It's also important to help consumers understand how to store avocados after purchase. 
ripening fruit should be stored at room temperature. Ripe fruit can then be stored in the fridge for a further two to three days. It's clear that avocados require a bit of extra attention, but when managed correctly, they can deliver good store profits. For further training materials and information, contact Avocados Australia.